GCSE course. This is a purely practical course which uses projects to take students through typical design technology materials such as card, plastics, wood and metal and to gain skills on techniques and tools associated with design and technology. First project students do is architecture. Within the architecture project, they extend their drawing ability from two point perspective up to five. They understand the importance of thumbnail sketches in order to produce final outcomes and they start to work in 2D relief and some 3D work. They look at the work of uh, architect Gaudi and his influences from nature. This allows them to create more 3D outcomes looking at uh, carving, looking at wire work and extending their practical knowledge of wax resist and printing. Students look at social architecture and pavilions. Through this, they look at the impact of the Bruce List architecture in the 50s, 60s and 70s, and they understand the use of architectural models and create their own through a brief which they present to a client. Our next project is 3D jewellery. Students use this project to extend their range of materials into metals. They do copper and wire work, extend their printing into lino printing and understand the safety and techniques of using the workshops. After studying more contemporary jewellery makers, students create a series of designs of their own. This allows them to use uh, metal punches, allows them to make finishes on metal and look at the work of Orla Gorey and Joe McAllister. Final part of this project is to create their own jewellery design, which they cast in pewter. Final project is furniture design. After looking at contemporary and historical furniture designers, they use their own interest to make bespoke outcomes. That's 60% of their coursework. There is, an R, there is a, a DT exam. The exam is 40%. It's purely practical. Pupils will be given seven mini starting points. These points are very, very broad and allow them to work to their interests. They will have an eight week preparation period to create designs, to create thumbnail sketches, maquettes and models, which they'll take through to a final 10 hour design where they will make their practical outcome. We believe in taking education out of the classroom. As such, we have ties with a lot of the uh, cultural and educational providers in the city. Students in the past few years have had the opportunity to visit uh, the architecture department in Liverpool to have backstage tours of the joinery workshops in the Tate to create their own work in the exhibition spaces on the first floor of the Tate to have access to the extensive collection of historical and contemporary sculpture within the Walker to work with sculptors such as Faith Bebbington to talk to architects, to talk to freelance sculptors, to have a backstage tour of Coronation Street and speak to the set designers, to enter competitions around architecture, all culminating in a final exhibition where parents and families are invited to help us celebrate the artistic achievements of our course. What then? Completing our GCSE 3D design and technology course allows you to access our A-level pathway. From here, you can choose from a combination of fine art, where you can major in 3D and product design, digital media, photography, and fashion. If you want to see our spaces, we have an exhibition space. We have a, a room where only A-level work and the students are given bays 
within which they can develop their work and portfolio. Hope to see you soon.